Hey everybody, welcome to Ginza. Good afternoon everybody, welcome to Ginza on a beautiful sunny day. And I got a problem, and it's one that a lot of people ask me about. It's one of the most asked questions about Japan. What do I do with my garbage? You've just eaten lunch, you've had a bento, you've had a picnic outside, you have a bag like this. Most people have plastic bags. How do you dispose of it? If you look around, and we're gonna cross the street in a second, you'll see that there's a total lack of public trash bins. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why and what to do with your trash in this live stream. We're gonna cross the street over here. It's extremely sunny on the other side. This is Ginza. Hey, everybody. Welcome. All right, let's cross the street right now. And, and the reason why I'm doing that is so that you can get a panoramic view of the total lack of trash cans. Now we're gonna be walking this way and you're gonna see not one on the side of the street. And this is Ginza, it's a really high class neighborhood so you would maybe not expect trash cans to be here. I mean, you know, it's a high class area. Ginza is nice. The reason why there's no trash cans, the most cited reason is because in 1995 we had a sarin gas attack on the Hibia line. And it was because of this that the uh, city got rid of initially the public trash cans. So yes, Japan did have public trash cans and uh, we got rid of them. But for the most part, people are quite responsible with the garbage that they do have, the rubbish, the trash. And what they do is they take it with them in most situations. Japan also has one of the strictest trash laws in the world. I mean, everybody recycles. It's ridiculous how, actually it's a very good thing, but it, in, in a way it's ridiculous how serious people are about recycling here. If you live in an apartment complex in Japan, in Tokyo, your neighbors will make sure that you separate your recyclables, your burnables, non-burnables, plastics, cardboard. It's at another level. Um, and uh, that's a good thing. So people are very responsible, have a personal responsibility of the things that they create, the rubbish, the trash that they create. So many people will take their trash home with them and then separate it in their house. It seems kind of extreme, but that's Japan. <laughs> Literally, that's, that's what I would do. I take my trash home with me. Um, there are other places though that you can get rid of your trash, especially if you're living in a hotel, if you're visiting in a, and staying in a hotel, you can of course throw your trash away there. Or the train stations have trash on the platforms. That's also a great place to get rid of the trash. Um, a lot of them now are, are made of glass or clear plastic, so uh, you can see the items in there because of the 1995 attack. But it just keeps the streets cleaner by not having any trash at all and it's weird like that people just simply will just carry the trash either in their bag or they put it somewhere else and then when they find a trash can at work they'll throw it away that's sort of what happens now the the last place that I'm gonna introduce you to this isn't gonna be a very long live stream is the convenience stores the convenience stores in Japan are everything and I'm going to show you why there's one right there but before I do that I have to actually make some trash <laughs> I have to make some rubbish in every single country the word trash has different meanings so what I'm gonna do is put use this post box here as a stand and we're gonna make some trash um, I bought at the convenience store 7-eleven a banana which is good and this is an unigiri and I'm gonna show you how to open it, all right? Because we gotta make some trash. Gomi, speaking of it, uh, speaking of trash, no, no, I'm, I'm just kidding, but there, there's um, these uh, uh, Mario Karts which got an injunction or something that allows them to keep running it, but they cannot wear um, Mario Brother costumes, although they are anyways. Shout out to Nintendo if you wanna escalate this. Here we go. So there's a tab on the top of it. Open it like this. All right, you can go all the way to the end, boom. And then there's number two and number three. Just take it apart. Two, three, 
and the seaweed now touches touches the rice. He stalled. <laughs> he stalled. Look at the cars going around him. That's why maybe they shouldn't be on the streets at all. Trash. Poor, poor guy. Yeah. Now I got some trash. This is really good. It's um spicy fish eggs. Not bad at all. Mm. It is good. Now on the right side is a convenience store. This is where you throw your trash away. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to show you in 10 seconds or less. What do you do with this? Take it to 7-Eleven where you bought it. And throw it away properly. Um, right here in the corner, there's there are places for, for you to separate the trash. I just have burnable, so this is going to be easy. Um, burnable. Boom. Plastic, pet bottles, cans, and glass. Now I'm completely free of my rubbish. It's pretty easy, pretty easy question, but the reason why is, is interesting too. I mean. It, if you go back to, to history and you look at 1995, the, the, the Japan wanted to do everything to minimize um, future attacks of terrorism and having public trash cans, it just was, it was just too much of a risk. And anyways, people do separate the garbage and take it back. Over the last 25 years since then, 23 years since then, um, people have become more and more conscious of recycling. So the reason why they take it home is because of that consciousness of recycling. They wanna make sure that the plastics go with the plastics, the glass go with the glass. Supermarkets are also a great place to throw your trash away. Um, your hotel, the train platforms, and convenience stores. And convenience stores are also, the majority of them, the public restrooms as well. You'll be able to find uh, toilets in most convenience stores. And you'll also be able to find uh, um, uh, services like ATM, um, drinks, basically convenience stores in Japan are the one stop everything for information, except yeah, it's not a tourist information, a lot of the staff won't speak English, so that might not be the ideal place. One thing I want to point, you out, point out to you is that if you do drink from a vending machine, I'm going to cross the street right now, if you do drink from a vending machine, which they have um, right here, on the left side, usually there's a place for you to to leave your recycled cans. Um, and this is another great thing about Japan: the recycled bins started. I wow, they go back a long ways. Let me let me see if we can get a drink here. Here are the recycled cans. There's one from different makers. Coca-Cola has one. Um, Suntory has one, and Kirin has one. I've never seen them separated by company. I guess the companies have a personal responsibility for themselves to make sure <laughs> that you recycle. So you get to recycle according to the company. I've never seen that before. But behind me are, there's uh, three vending machines, so we're gonna get a drink and then recycle. That means I have to make more trash. Making tr trash can be just as much fun as throwing it away. So what do you guys think? Do you have any requests? This is the time where you can help me make some trash. So what do we got here? Um, see here, in this Georgia, we have this Italian blend. I've never seen this one before. Italian blend. They have the Coca-Cola coffee, which is interesting. We've drank that, me and Jennifer drank that in a, in a past live stream. Espresso and milk, this is new from uh, Georgia coffee. The Tansan, <laughs> um, we're not talking about Mr. Tan. That'd be me. 
This is Tansan is uh, means carbonated water, Tansan Sui. Green tea. Um, over here is a Kirin vending machine. We have Red Bull, um, Kirin lemon. What do you guys think? Black coffee. Oh, we got some sports drinks up here. Amino supply with no Y, but there is an I. And rich green tea. And then over here is a Suntory machine with bottled water of Suntory. We got lemon in here. We got Asahi Super Dry. There's no Asahi Super Dry here. The Ichigo milk is very interesting, huh? Strawberry milk. And then there's a, a Bistro Boss Coffee. Wait! Boss Coffee usually makes Boss Coffee, but this is a Boss Soup. That's weird! What? I've never seen this before. Tommy Lee Jones is probably going crazy right now. He's a spokesman, Tommy Lee Jones, for Boss Coffee. Yet, this is soup. What do you think? Boss Soup? Or Ichigo milk. I guess Santori is killing it. And then there's um, Acerora drink. I don't know what that is. Acerora. Uh, X Ordak Kobayashi says Italian blend. Oh wow, but there's the soup too. Can I get both? All right, we're gonna have to get both, I think. Boss soup and then the Italian blend. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go for the, go for the the, you know what? Okay, wait. I'm gonna go for the boss soup and then the Italian blend as a as a happy ending. We're gonna make some trash. We're doing this just to make trash. <laughs> this is crazy. All right, here we go. 500 yen. Let's make some trash. Trekkerus says Trekkerus wants the soup. You got the soup, buddy. Boom. All right, just what I wanted, a pocket full of change. Let's drink this. Oh, it's hot. Whoa. Hey, Ellis. You can get them all now. <laughs> Look at Ellis, just get them all. Uh, that's why we love you, Ellis. Just cut straight to the, cut, cut to the chase. Let's get, get on with it. This is, I've never seen this before. Special fine soup, bistro boss. Delicious soup using special ideas from our coffee making. What the heck? So they use techniques from coffee making to make the soup? I've, oh, what is it, are, are noodles gonna come out of this or something? All right, let's try this out. I can't, I've never seen this before. Boss soup using coffee techniques. Brought to you by Trekkerus Ellis and X Ordak Kobayashi. Here we go. Let's make some trash. Look, it already. Oh, you can smell the soup. Oh! This should be illegal. It smells peppery. Like they've put pepper in it. You can see, like, floating in here, you can see the fat floating on the top. Maybe not the, the best choice. All right, kanpai, or cheers, or bottoms up, or itadakimasu. <coughs> Interesting. Interesting. Salty and oily. Taste of pepper. A lot of pepper. I guess the pepper's on the bottom. Salty, oily taste of pepper. Meaty. I, I, I can't identify the meat either. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, pepper, pepper. One more, one more. Good point, no chunks. <laughs> there are no chunks in there. <laughs> All right. No chunks in there. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Trekkers. This is going in the boss can. Recycle, everybody. All right, let's go in for this Italian coffee because um, it was requested. Here we go. Um, so we're going to go for the uh, Italian, Georgia Italian coffee. I haven't had this one before either. Uh, is it going to make me w wish that I wasn't going to Germany in December? I was going to Italy instead, perhaps. I'm, 
I'm kind of getting the coins out of my pocket right now. I'm trying to delay this. Okay, here we go. I got a pocket full of coins. Let's do this. Let's make some trash. This is the trashy episode. Hey guys, smash that like button. If we can get to 100 likes, I will get this Italian coffee. I'm waiting for your 100 likes. <laughs> what happened? How long can you wait before just refund your money? Get, let's get to 100 likes. Oh, that was a, that was easy. <laughs> that was crazy. That took like two seconds. All right. Yeah, more coins. It's just not what I wanted. All right. But what I do want is what's in here. Let's make some trash. Oh, it's hot. Oh yeah, this is nice and hot. Um, the Georgia Italia blend coffee. Uh, Korawari no Koku Kauri. So it has the uh, round, the flavor of the uh, the essence of the coffee is, is part of this basically, yeah. All right, let's try this one. Oh, look at this. Do you guys feel Italy now? I, I totally want to ride a gondola through Venice now. Thank you, Georgia, for bringing us a little piece of Italy. And thank you for this. I've just released Italy into Japan. Oh. It smells like trash. Ah, it smells like coffee. Oh, Italians like it strong and sweet with very little milk. Slight, slight creamy taste, espresso, super sweet. Like they dropped not one, but two, not two, but three sugar. Cause just, it seems like Coca-Cola had a lot of leftover sugar. They just decided to put it in this coffee. All right, this is the weird thing with this coffee here. It tastes strong, but it it's, has such a like a weak taste on the side of the tongues. There's very little bitterness, so it makes me think it's more flavoring and less coffee. Very little bit bitterness, so it's not it doesn't taste real. Yeah, that's not real coffee. There's like no bitterness. It's it's got a slight coffee taste, but no bitterness, so it can't be real. All right, sorry, um, Georgia. Good effort. I love the art. In fact, that might be worth a dollar just so I could say I, I held Italy in my hands. But I, I gotta say, it's not worthy of the name coffee. I, actually, they don't even use coffee. Wait a second. They didn't. Lo oh, this coffee is written right there. Kohi. That's another reason to, to learn katakana. If you learn katakana, you can start to read things like kohi. But it doesn't actually say coffee on the can. So it just says has coffee smell. So let's let's just throw this away. All right. So you can, you can, you can pour this, you can pour this into the gutter <laughs> if you don't want it, and then you can dispose of it in the proper can. Um, they all look like they go in the same place, but the small can for, there you go. Thank you, Coca-Cola. Thank you very much. That was fun. We created some trash. But yeah, the vending machines, Japan has a very high rate of recycling, meaning that um, they say that the price of, of canned drinks has not gone up because they get the money back through recycling. Be but because, I, that's, what they, that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's true. For me, greed, I think, would be, I, I don't see how a can of, of anything can be more than um, a dollar twenty, anyways. I don't just because there's not that much inflation in Japan. Now Ginza, by the way, guys, I, I just want to take you really quickly through Ginza. If, if you get off of the main street, you're gonna see a lot more interesting stuff in Ginza. This is one street off of Chuodori. It's so quiet in here. Uh, you can see we're in between the buildings, and it's the alleyways of Ginza that are have a lot of secrets in them. Check it out. Here's another alley between the buildings. They're clean. Here's another alley, you see? And sometimes you'll see bars and shops in between there. This is the reason why I like Ginza. The main street's cool, you'll get a lot of tourists, and then you'll get all the locals on the side streets because they know about these little places that are just so invaluable, like um, bars and uh, little shops, 
um, satellite shops from, you can see a lot of satellite shops from Hiroshima, I think is on this street. There's a shop from uh, um, Akita Prefecture. You can get lots of goods. I think you can even get decent okonomiyaki. Yeah, I, I, we, Kanai and I looked at this dress shop too for the wedding last year, but it was so expensive, but she really liked it. Oh, here's the um, uh, Yamagata satellite shop from Yamagata. Oh, Oh, Yamagata. Oh, arigato. Thank you. <laughs> arigato. Arigato. <laughs> wow. See, there you go. They're all from Yamagata promoting Yamagata Prefecture. There's tons of satellite shops from all the prefectures in Japan. In fact, you don't even have to go to Yamagata. You can get a lot of the stuff from Yamagata here. Um, I do this with a lot of my patrons, the daimyo. I will get, if, if, I, if I know of an item that I really want to share with people and I didn't get them when I was on a trip, I can buy it at the satellite shops here and that's pretty cool. Like I did that with the shop I'm taking you to right now. I just want to show the daimyo from Patreon where I got their stuff and I'm going to end the live stream here. Once again, you can see on the street, no trash cans. There's zero trash cans. Nothing. There's a Rimawa bag, but you can't put you can't consider that trash because it costs too much. Rimawa is like the Rolls Royce of luggage. It's true. I mean, I don't know why any, anyone would want to buy a bag that people would want to steal because it's so expensive. You buy a bag so nobody wants to steal. That's kind of cool art. Look at the way that the. Uh, I don't know, it's like Japan and the West meeting. I like that. It's pretty cool. There's the chrysanthemums. Nice. And now we're going to end the live stream right up here. Whoosh. Trash can, left side. See that? Prime target. So, yeah, there's another place where you can throw the trash away. Family Mart or 7-Eleven. Or, you know, I, I don't go in and there's a McDonald's straight ahead. I don't throw the trash away there. Because I feel like I should buy McDonald's stuff, but I don't. But you could. No one would fault you. Here's the, here's the other shop, and this is where the Daimyo stuff came from, from this, this, uh, this month. It came from the Okinawa Satellite Shop. And it's just something that... Defines, look at that's Goya, Goya Champo, I think. He really likes it. And the Okinawa shop has Okinawa beer and has Okinawa snacks. It's so cool. And they have the purple potato snack. And this month, anyone who is a Daimyo supporter is going to be receiving a box of purple potato tarts. <laughs> From McDonald's, um, the McDonald's was giving away, um, and that campaign ended. But you can also still get Benny Emo here in Ginza at the Okinawa Satellite Shop. And inside is just a piece of piece of Okinawa. Oh, and it's shut right in front of us. Can you give a rundown of how trash recycling is separated? Sure, I can do that because we just passed a uh, trash can. That's a great question. Uh, thanks, Ivanj. I shouldn't be crossing, but I'll then do it anyways. So basically, everything is separated um, uh, at the house. And in your home, you will separate the trash. Certain days of the week uh, will have pickup days for, for trash. I guess in my community, I think it's Thursday, or sorry, um, Tuesday and Friday are, is burnable trash. Um, Wednesday is non-burnable. Um, if you have big garbage, you can. If you have big garbage, you can uh, call and reserve, and you have to buy stickers from the convenience store that will um, you put on the trash, and then they know, know to pick it up. If they don't have the stickers on it, then you can get in trouble because you're supposed to pay a little tax. And you can get those stickers. I guess they have like class A, class B, class C stickers. So depending on the type of garbage you're throwing away, whether it's like a, a laptop or a sofa, 
you have to put a certain amount of stickers. Each one can be like 300 yen or 500 yen. And you write your name on the sticker and you slap it on there and then you call and then you put it outside your apartment and they'll come and pick it up. Um, there's usually three categories of trash. Um, there's burnable. Burnable, which is muyaserugomi or muerugomi. There's pet bottles. And then there's cans and glass. Bean is, is glass and can is can. And if you can read katakana, you'll be able to read bean and can. <clears throat> and you can read here very clearly uh, petto botoru. Petto botoru. And you can read in here moyaserugomi, which is burnable. You have, to, you have to also separate this in your home. And if you have a bag and you just put all the trash in there, in Japan what we do is we will literally open up the bag and just start going like this and sorting it into the, into the proper receptacle. If you ride the Shinkansen, when you arrive, you see people lined up to throw their trash away. It's, it's kind of a neat thing to see, but everybody has a sense of personal responsibility in Japan. Um, they also have special trash like tatami, where they will grind up the tatami at the trash um, receiving plant, and they'll recycle that as well. So everything in a way gets recycled one way or another. The costs are very high, but if everybody does it together, I think the costs of not doing it is greater for the society. So I'm glad that we do have a, a very robust recycling plan in Japan and it's a topic that I might be doing for the live stream, I'm not sorry, for the main episode in 2019 because I, I actually have the business card of the guy in charge of the recycling program in, in uh, Tokyo, which is going to be pretty awesome. Um, and Osaka has a, has a pretty unique trash um, system. So there you have it. This is Ginza, the classiest city, the Beverly Hills of Tokyo, I guess you could say. and we found trash, recept trash trash bins. So I hope this is useful for you. <laughs> I hope this is useful. I hope it was fun. Um, I, I do appreciate it if you do subscribe to the live streaming channel. Um, that's I, I still can't believe that we've... I haven't actually um, gotten the request to get the plaque for the 100,000 subscribers yet from Google, but hopefully this, um, this week I'll be able to apply for it and it should come in by next month because I want to hold it up and show you guys and, um, it, it's been a pretty incredible ride over the last year and a half to see this channel grow. I just did a collaboration with Scotty from Strange Parts. You might want to go check that out. Scotty has a channel in, in Shenzhen, China where he, he takes parts and builds stuff. And we, we went around Akihabara on his channel and it's sure to be a hit because everything Scotty does is, is pretty cool. Um, and I have three episodes on the main channel coming this month. One of them is a tie-up or a collaboration with um, uh, Mike Chen from Strictly Dumplings. I'm waiting. He's also got a video of his own where we both ate sushi. And um, what else is there? I have a um, scuba diving episode and I also have an um, uh, episode coming on December 3rd which is on uh, Vermeer, which is an artist from Holland and why he is so incredibly popular here in Japan. That's gonna be a pretty exciting one because I interviewed the biggest otaku probably in Japan on classical art. Yes, there are classical art otaku. It's true. All right, everybody, have a great day. Have a great night wherever you are. Hope you enjoyed this. See you on the other side. Bye from Ginza. Hey, look, there's a, a no, no rubbish sign up on the corner. Pretty cool. You cook up, 